Second Revelation Jellett met fellow Dublin artist Evie Hone at Westminster and they travelled to Paris together. There are periods of their careers where both their work is very similar as they develop their practice together. Though also considered an early pioneer of Cubism, Hone is now most known for her work as an exceptional stained glass artist. Hone and Jellett were not the only Irish women to travel to Paris in that period. Many went to work with Lote, including Grace Henry, May and Nora McGuinness and Harriet Kirkwood, though they also studied elsewhere in the city. Its thought artist and champion of younger generations of women artists, Sarah Purser, was the first when she went to study for six months at the Académie Julianne in 1878. It has been suggested that the death of Mary Swansea and Eileen Gray, who also studied in Paris, was the end of an era which had begun a hundred years before with Purser's time. Lote was an early practitioner of Cubism, but by the time Jellett met him, he wasn't considered part of the fashionable avant-garde movement. He practised a reserved and considered form of Cubism that still kept figurative work and the historic principles of painting at its heart. Jellett wrote how he opened our minds to the vast realm of research and riches in the old masters. With Lote, I learnt how to use natural forms as a starting point towards the creation of form for its own sake, to use colour with the knowledge of its great potential force and produce work based on a knowledge of rhythmical form and organic colour, groping towards a conception of a picture being a creative organic whole, but still based on a realistic form. His teaching followed a similar pattern to the traditional academy, with everything revolving around the life study and intense observation in strict studio settings. A figure study would be developed over a week, with an initial sketch and then moving to simplification of the figure into cubes, cylinders and cones, and then its integration into a composition. The colour composition was also chosen very carefully, and followed strict rules of complementary colours and palettes. Though Jellett appreciated all she gained from her time with Lote, she stored most of her work away when she went on to discover her own style. Three of the paintings in this exhibition have never been displayed since their creation. The unstretched canvases have been framed just for this exhibition.